quickly show you a bit of this now because in the morning it's obviously going to be dark and that's when they're um, on with swapping it over, I think. We need to start milking early anyway. Anyway, so as you can see through there, that is the dairy. That obviously had a little like plastic wall around the tank so you couldn't see through it. It's separate to the barn, which is where I'm standing now. This tank is going. We haven't had it that long and we all did make a comment when Dad bought it that we'll fill it pretty fast and we have. Anyway, so we had overflow tanks, which I'll show you in the dairy now. Um, Alex, actually, a lot of people have been asking where you've been. Nowhere, just say hello. You're still here. Just doing cows. You've been filling in the field, Yeah, she's still here, so. Um, so, yeah, I can't remember what I was saying now. I'll show you in the dairy in a minute. So this one's going out, the new one's outside waiting to come in. And yeah. So this is the new one waiting to go in. Doesn't look that much bigger when it's on there. So we have the main tank, which then we put the pipe through and go into the overflow tank. So that tank holds about 9,300. We've been filling them all, so so hopefully we won't fill that. Hi guys! Oh, is Dottie on heat? Yeah. <laughs> it's so early. I'm gonna have to go to bed really early tonight. I'm already thinking about it. You, Bella. So early, guys. So, so early. All right, can't see anything. Here we go. It's new tank day. That's why we're up so early. <laughs> I'll explain later. I need to go and start milking. Come on, girlies. It's an early morning. Oh, sorry. I'm just being sorry. I fell over as well. Good girls. Those two sides are off. I don't think it's a very, uh, very good uh, footage from uh, where I am at the moment. <laughs> Just the last collection on that tank. Do you just take that back with you then, that little pot? to the laboratory for something. Yeah. And uh, that's what you uh, you are judged on. Get all our data back for. Have a good day. You I too. hope it all goes well for you. Thank you. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Get me wellies on, man. Let's spin all around now. Take it right around. Keep coming. Right. Straight back. Just 
the forks. I thought you'd like put ropes around it or something. further past that brick wall. That door, could you take that whole door off? Where's your Yeah, no, we'll get it.
Questioning you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll creep it forward a bit. It is only a bit though, it? Does it really yeah. matter in here? Not really. You better be more room in there, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think you better with more room in dairy, Dad. As long as we can get round it. You can get round and you're better having more room in here, in dairy. Yeah. So I'll drop it there. Leave it. Yeah. it there. Leave it where it is. Yeah. Right. So it's <laughs> So much going on this morning so let me just do a little bit of explaining which i haven't done already you'll have seen at the start of this video we got up at stupid o'clock i think my alarm went off at like 20 past three which is just ridiculous um so we had to get up early this morning to milk the cow so that the tanker could come extra early to come and collect the milk so then we could take the old bull tank out of the dairy so we could um, start the process of putting the new tank in because obviously we need that tank in ready for this afternoon's milking. So it's just like a bit of a race against the clock sort of jobby. So yeah, none of us were late this morning. We were all on time. So we managed to get milk in. Uh, the tanker came at perfect timing. We managed to get the, the old tank out. The new tank's gone in. And yeah, it's all going smoothly so far. I asked them if he'd be ready for us um, to start milking about half two, obviously, because we started so early. Um, and he said, if we're lucky. So I think that means no, but hopefully it's not going to be too late. And we've left our overflow tank in the dairy um, in case we need it, in case we don't have enough room in the new tank, which holds 12,000. And if there is enough room, uh, we've got it if like, the tank is late or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, but I'll show you that after when they finish. They're just setting all the boring pipe bit up now, which I'm not going to film because show the dairy once they've finished and I'll explain how many litres are in each tank and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, Ashley's just going now. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to do my horses. So yeah, I'll keep... Right, we're in. I think it's working. I'm going to have to take a minute for us to get used to this whole new system. Piped in, so first milking in the new tank. So let's see how we get on. So yeah, like I was saying, if you see behind me, we've got the new tank at the back, which holds 12,000 litres. And we're keeping this tank here, which holds a thousand litres. We're holding that for, um, in case of, <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, so if the tanker doesn't come and we need like an overflow or anything like that, it's, it's plumbed in, it's ready to go. So it might as well stay sort of thing. So yeah, I'm just gonna go start milking out. I was hoping to start a bit earlier, but I've only just finished my lunch. I was just saying to Alex how this morning I was like, I'm gonna get up every day at 3 a.m. I've got so much stuff done. And then I sat down for lunch like half an hour ago and now I'm like, I'm so tired, I just wanna go home. Anyway, I need to go milk for three hours now. So if anyone does get up at 3 a.m. every day, hats off to you, cause there's no way I'm doing it. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Don't head for me. Whoa, man. Sass. Watch her. Come on, then. <laughs> Don't hurt my belly. It's very full at the minute. Just had my dinner. No, oh, hello. No, thanks. So why is it cooling? Yeah. Third day. We'll be back tomorrow to some more. Right, so the tank's in, the new tank is in. Um the tanker came obviously the first day that we fitted it, which and then we sent like eleven thousand litres of milk, which we've never sent anything like that before. Obviously because we'd started early and what have you and the cows had more milk on them. Um so that was cool. But apart from that, there's not a lot else to report. It's in. We're not having to change over tanks every morning, which is so much better, because that used to be a massive pain in the backside. So that's the end of that little scenario that we were doing. Uh, DD are actually still here, just finishing off the pipe work and that sort of thing. But it's all very boring, and I've no idea what's going on, so there's no point in me even trying to explain it. I do know that down the bottom we've actually had to put the condensers outside because we had some on the loft which in summer would overheat and weren't doing the job properly. It wasn't cooling the milk so we've actually left them up there for the ice builder I think and then the one, the new ones for the new tank are actually downstairs at the bottom which I will quickly show you now. Let me just get a hat because I'm about to go milking. Explain to me what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, but what is it? Uh, condensers. Yep. Uh, for the tank. So we're just running them up now. Um, I was saying before, we've had to put them down here because when they were up there, they weren't really doing the job properly, were they? It was overheating. Because no, be, up there, it'd be quite warm. Yeah. Uh, you can't get the air flow that well. Yeah, yeah. So here, it's much better being outside. Yeah. And obviously, the, the waterproof, isn't it? So the waterproof. What are the cages for, just to make them look nicer? Pretty much, yeah, to stop to stop damage as well. Yeah. Yeah, Grandad. <laughs> cool. Right, I'm gonna leave the video there now, guys. I'm just about to go milking. Meg started for me because I've been at PLT in Manchester. Can't see her. I can't see her. Anyway, so I'm gonna take her from Meg, and then we're actually all going out for Ben's birthday meal tonight. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this really short, sweet um, little video. If you have done, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys realities of milking in winter plus I want to keep my hair clean but yeah see you on the next one